In today's episode, we're exploring Pokhara, Nepal for the very first time. We're making our way through the park, eating with our hands, trying some tasty food, bargaining at the local markets, and be sure to watch to the end of the video to see us give a generous tip after a good head massage and peeling our face. So join me in the foothills of the Himalayas and let's get into the adventure. 1 p.m., 26 degrees, on a bright sunny day here in Pokhara, Nepal, home to around 600,000 people. This is the second largest city in Nepal, second to Kathmandu, of course. And I'm just going for a walk, namaste, around the city, starting here in the park. And we have chickens and even some cattle, mooching around, eating some grass. But I just wanted to go for a walk and get a overall sense of the place, meeting the locals, trying some food, what it's like in the real side of Pokhara in Nepal. So you can kind of understand what it's like to live here. But I am hoping that we can make our way out just here. Looks like there's some stairs. There is a viewpoint just down there of the boat, but yeah, looks like we can go right here. There must be gates set up to keep the cattle in. But saying that, I was walking home last night and there were cows just roaming the street. So it's quite funny being in the city, just seeing cars down the main road. But lots of buses all set up here to welcome you to Fishtail Lodge. Namaste, Fishtail Lodge. How are you? Hi. Namaste. Yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. It's a boat, literally, there's a hotel over here and a boat has to take you to the hotel. So maybe we go check out how much it is and see if we can stay there tonight. The guy is grabbing the rope. Look at this. You're only able to access it by this boat or raft that is controlled by a rope. Fishtail Lodge. Literally in the middle of a lake here in Pokhara, Nepal. The scenery and the beauty of this place is insane. We have a load of boats here and the beautiful Nepalese mountains surrounding it. But let's wait for this boat to come and jump on. Here it is, just a raft with like oil drums keeping it afloat. And it looks a little on the tipsy side and only 12 people it says it's allowed on it at one time. Oh, I think it's going to hit the bottom there. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, reception? Hotel reception? Reception? Yes. yes. Can I jump on? Yeah. Thank bad. Wow. We might wait for more people. How are you? Fine. Good. 24 hour service as well. This is awesome. Timro name ke ho? Ramchandra. Ram Ramchandra. Yeah. Ramchandra. Yeah. Will. Yeah, Will. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's got a pretty good process here. So he drags it and then he flips it down. And it seems like we're going pretty fast. Must be easier when there's less people. So when there's just one like me, it's probably a lot easier. Perfect. Spiral with the rope. Going across the water. I don't know if I would swim in here. It looks a little murky. Look at this, we even have birds nestled up in the trees. A nice boat here at the lodge as well. And it's all surrounded by nice bush and views of the lake here in Pokhara. Oh, and the other half of the rope falls off. So he pulls this half on, the pulling rope this way, and then that's that side. So it's not at one continuous rope, which I thought it might have been, but it's two separate ropes. Oh, and we are here. Tony Bud, nice there. Way to reception. So. Upon arrival, we were walking up these nice stairs through this really cool jungle path. Well, look down there. Going up, we have reception, and it all seems to be like these circular buildings. We have a swimming pool, reception. Okay, so as you can see, we are just walking around. We have a nice rooms all up here. A, what looks like a dining hall. We can see the side that we came on from over there. What is this? It looks like a big swing in the middle. Here we go, try this swing out. But as you can see, it's a very nice place. 
with pretty amazing views the entire way around. But here's a swing in the middle of the hotel. Oh. Pretty cool. Pretty good swing. So it looks like in here we have a fitness center or more diving areas and the pool. So the pool is shaped like the rooms, but look how amazing this is. Sadly, the pool is closed, but we have Fishtail Spa, Dip and Sip. So there must be a bar in there. And it's actually a pool right amongst the trees. It's so cool. And you have the houses. Namaste. And yeah, there must be a restaurant in here as well. The trees, a view up there of the mountains. Oh wow, you can actually see Oh wow, this is my first time actually sitting the mountains. You can see them way up there. Holy. Look up there, you can see all the mountains. Fishtail. Okay, Haram Sandra is going to take us back in this boat. So jump on in. Oh, Dandy Bud. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a bit faster, this one. And I didn't actually know I could see the Himalayas because yesterday I went up the gondola, which you'll see on another video. And all these mountains were fully covered. And now you can see the Himalayas, Fishtail Mountain. But look at this one, this is such a nice boat. Don't you bud. <laughs> wow. And this is what we came over on as well, so. Pretty cool. We get a full experience here on the lake in Pokhara. Very, very nice. What boat do you prefer, this one or that one? You like this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's fast. It's very comfortable. There's even a life jacket, but we've gone rebel mode. We don't need it today. So this is like fiberglass coating, wood. And another video, we saw people were actually fixing a boat. So be sure to check that out as well. Here we are, back at the starting point. Great checking out Fishtail Lodge. Might stay there in a few days, so be sure to check that out. All right, we'll try and get out here without getting our feet wet. I think he's gonna reverse up this way. So we'll turn around. He'll jump out first, and then us. Oh yeah, down you bud. Namaste. Wow, namaste. Which country are you? New Zealand. New Zealand. Ah. Yeah. You? I'm Tibetan. 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 Wow. And is this is your shop? Yeah, I make here. You oh, Timur Namkeho. Meru Namdingi Tuma. Ah, very nice to meet you. This I make here, then I put there. Oh, these are beautiful. All I make myself for design. These are very nice. See, How see. long have you been working here for? I'm around doing. 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Only for winter time. Only in winter time. Only for winter. October, November. October, November. And then December, and January, February, March only. And then. Then, then you, not coming. you stop. I uh, stop. Why is that? Is because that because of. Really something. Ah. And then raining. Is it too cold uh, in January and onwards? No, the cold is November. November it's now cold. Now it's starting for cold. Ah, okay. I should probably go hike them before it gets too cold <laughs> wow okay that's good to know what are these if i know today because not business that's way if you enter i give one free. yeah free not free <laughs> no not, not free. free not free oh these no that's free. cool this for belt ufc belt back here ah very nice i might come visit you later if i need a bracelet i'll know where to come you can buy now one piece i'll come back later if i need one you done you bud Back, I'm gonna stay. Back I'm gonna stay at Fishtail Lodge next week. Next week? Yeah, I come stay. Yeah. So I'll come and see you before I take the boat. Okay. Done, you bud. We hit this gate, which we are getting trapped in, and you can see all the boats set up down here, which I think you can hire to explore the lake. Namaste. How are you? Ah, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Oh, matching up. Yeah, making board. Making a boat. Yeah, big board. 
What are they doing to it? Are they just fixing it? Yeah, they make new one, you know, for our body system. Oh, this Normally, is for the lake, uh, just a tourist, yes. for tourists to go yes. on. That one, same. This one here. Oh, down there, that one. Is this your boat? No, no, no. Do you have a boat? I have one. Then why I'm paying you the job? You know? Oh, getting <laughs> I don't a job. Have one boat, you know? Nice. This is the boat here that they are fixing up back, which we were just looking at. And even over here, we have someone like set up, possibly living in the jungle. Wow. Yeah. There's so many set up down here. I wonder if they've caught anything. Have you caught any fish today? Yeah. Big fish? Yeah. How big? Yeah, small, big. Ah, okay. Maybe two kilo. Two kilo. Today, two, two kilo, one kilo. Wow. Half kilo. Wow. Yeah, three, four, four fish catch. Oh, okay. You can see? What type of fish are they? Huh? What type of fish? Uh, this is one of the carp, uh, you know, common oh. carp. Okay, carp. Common carp. Okay, and yeah. Uh, tilapia. Two kind of. Wow, okay. Uh, three fish, two kind of. Nice, nice to eat? Yeah, you can see there. Fish? In the, in the down place, in the water. <laughs> oh, you can see them. Put it in the net, yeah? You know net? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, this is so you keep like them it. nice yeah. and fresh. Yeah. You eat them tonight? Yeah. Tonight you eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes selling also. Okay. That's good. Somebody coming? I sell. Yeah. Do you get many fish yeah. from the ocean into the markets? Yeah, yeah. So the, where do the ocean fish come from? Yeah, uh, here is a one, one of the cars. Okay. Is a, you know, like a yeah, catch fish cast over here. Ah. They, they are a big net, yeah. put big net. Uh -huh. And there'll be a big, so much. Um, in the lake? Fish, uh, on the lake. Oh, wow. And take in the market. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All the fish must just come from the lake. Yeah. Do you know name Keho? Ganendra. Ganendra. Better name Will. 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 Where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh. Yeah. It's very nice here in Pokhara. Yeah. Even mountain? Yeah. It's covered up. The Himalayas covered up by the clouds. Is that yeah. trekking also? Trekking tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Go up Poon Hill and then Mardi Himal. Oh, Mardi Himal. Right. Yeah. But apparently it's going to be getting colder. Yeah. It gets cold soon. Yeah. Oh. And then Pokhara is like a paragliding. Ah, okay. Bungee jump. Yeah, I went up to that viewpoint yeah, just viewpoint. up there. Very good. Paragliding in town. Yeah, but Lake. all the Himalayas are covered by the yeah. clouds. Uh, maybe uh, after two, three hours before, you can see. Yeah, in this morning. Yeah, yeah. I could see them the in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, see fishtail. Yeah. Yeah. Annapurna. Annapurna 5, Annapurna. 5? Annapurna South. Annapurna 1, Annapurna 2, Annapurna 3, Annapurna 4. Ah, have you climbed all them? You done uh, it? Yeah, and then Mardi Himal, and then Lamjung Himal, mm -hmm. and Machapuchere, okay. Machapuchere base camp, uh, Annapurna base camp. Have you climbed so many, Everest? Yeah. And over there, sometimes, uh, see, ice mountain in the Dhablagiri. Ah, mm. This is uh, 8,176 around. Wow. Right. Is that third highest in the world? Yeah, no, no, no. Maybe. Uh, four? Four. four five. Have yeah. you climbed Mount Everest? Uh, no. 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 I cannot see there. Mm. Base camp sounds hard enough. Yeah, yeah. Done, yeah. Okay. I'll continue exploring. Okay. Have a good day. It's extremely friendly locals. Nice and easy to talk to. Always happy to share what it's all, what's going on. Something that's really cool is we have people, quite a few people, walking around collecting trash here in the park which shows that the people really care about it and something with this lake as well is that they're not allowed to have power boats on the lake hello. so whether that's namaste hello there's no power boats allowed on the lake maybe because it might wreck up the bottom and make it a little more dirty or the exhaust of the boats but having it just paddles and no motors is quite nice because obviously, as you can hear, it's very quiet. So down here we have some small fish roaming around and just a little bit of gunk built up. But look at that, that's a pretty beautiful sight. Wow. Namaste, how are you? Hi sir. Namaste. Flags and transcripts scripts, all set up over the place. It's also such a cool sight. 
kind of just reminds me of the movies I've seen when I was a kid and all the photos. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool place. And something that I've kind of just realized while I was saying that is maybe the boats are all these colors because of the Tibetan flags. I'm not 100% sure. It's you have pizza, gelato, Asian, even a casino down here in Pokhara, which you wouldn't really expect. But I guess it has it all. I also just noticed that there was an ATM out front of this casino. So, we'll get some cash out, which will hopefully last us the rest of our trip. Especially when you're going trekking, you want to have a little bit of cash on you to pay for the tea houses and everything like that. But we have the casino set up down here by the lake. We have a restaurant that I've been going to every night, just up here, Kebab King Restaurant which I met a local in there the other day and she was saying that she hadn't found the place in about 20 years of being here and she was pretty gutted because she was saying it's like her favourite place now and she just found it the other day. Like, look at the lake, it's such a cool view. We have some bikes here for rent. These are your bikes? Yeah. Oh, how much is it per hour? Per hour is 150. 150? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm coming back after my trek so I might rent and go up to Happy Village when I come back. Okay. But I know where you are now. Yeah. Also you have a scooter. Scooter? Yeah. Okay, I like to do bicycle. No problem. Awesome. Go on your bike. What I'm going to be doing when I come back from the trip. So again, be sure to subscribe to, to see more videos here in Nepal. I'm trying to remember where this restaurant was. I think it was around here. But I do not mind walking around here at all. It's so, so nice. Try a few different ATMs because the one I just used then was different to the one I tried about 10 minutes ago and I didn't use the one 10 minutes ago because it had a massive fee for getting money out but I just tried the different bank and it was about I think it was like seven or eight dollars less to get my 25,000 rupees out so definitely try a few different ATMs and some t-shirt I keep seeing is one that says Dalbat Power 24 hour which is kind of ironic because that's the meal we're going to go try and get here which is from a local restaurant which looks pretty popular and Dalbat being the local dish that a lot of Nepalese people eat every day but here we have it Mantra Tikali kitchen which I think is upstairs so we will get on up get some lassi and some Dalbat Namaste. Namaste. Are you open? <laughs> Namaste. Oh, nice seats outside. Nice view of Pokhara. Maybe we sit over here just out of the sun. Stunning view of the city right here. Wow. Buses for locals. Massive tree. Mantra Takali restaurant. A local was actually telling me this place was really good. We have all sorts of stuff. We have mutton kana. I wonder what kana is. Dido? Mm. Roti. Ah, okay. I think it's different types of dalba. Chicken kana. Don't even know what to call that. But we'll get the chicken kana. You have lassi? Last page. Oh yeah. Hmm? What's the best lassi? We had this uh, vanilla lassi. Vanilla lassi. Banana. Mm. I might try the vanilla lassi. Sorry? Vanilla? Yeah. And the chicken kana set. So for those that aren't familiar with Nepalese food or culture or haven't really tried it before, something you do when you're eating dalba is clean your hands because you actually eat with your right hand. I'm gonna double check that, I'm pretty sure. I've had it once, so I kind of know, but since I've been to the bathroom, I clean it very well, and then I don't touch anything else coming out with it, because you keep the hand that I'm holding the camera with for other stuff, and this hand completely clean, because there's a certain way to eat dalba, which is so interesting. And my friend Kabi was showing me, so you pick it up with your hand, like this, you put it on the front part of your fingers and then you push it forward with your thumb into your mouth. 
so it's not like picking it up like this which I thought happened you actually pick it up and then you force kind of push it into your mouth which actually is such a nice way to eat and when you kind of don't have that metal taste from the cutlery at least that's what Kabi was telling me the taste is a lot better and it's just a good experience um, which is really cool so as long as you keep the sand clean so I'm not going to touch anything now with this one it's such a nice way to eat do I for Dalva I eat with my right hand which is your preferred this one okay so I clean this and I don't touch anything else yeah okay Awesome. Thank you, bud. So, we have dal, bak, then fried crispy potatoes, spinach, onion, uh, radish, cucumber, carrot, yogurt. Mm, I think this is potato as well with some beans. This is our chicken curry. Then we have the... Oh, amazing. Thank you. What is... What's that? Is that radish? Yeah, they just and this is. And what's this called again? It's called Pop Boy. Pop Boy? Okay. Danny Bud, thank you. First up, vanilla lassi. Oh. That is insane. Okay. Try not to drink that too fast, but probably a lot of sugar, but it's okay. So, the first step. A little bit of dal on top of the rice. Leave a little bit for later. And then a bit of our curry, chicken curry on top. Just like that. And then mix it up. It's quite hot though. Oh, that is very hot. Oh. This is Danny Bad. Uh, maybe a little bit more. What is this? Same like uh, water. Butter? Yeah. Hot butter. Nepalese butter. Okay, thank you. Danny Bad. So now it's even more hot, so we won't stick our fingers in. But the butter just adds that like caramelized taste, which makes it even nicer. So, we'll start off with a little bit. Well, we'll take this fried potato, a little bit of onion, maybe some yogurt on top, a piece of spinach, get it onto our hand, just like that. What's oh, hot? Yeah, so tasty. It's all the flavors of the onion the dal and obviously just the bar which is the rice that chicken is way too hot but we're out okay but these potatoes are nice mmm potato so you kind of have to wait for a little bit for it to cool down you don't have to mix it all together straight away and if there is any certain techniques for eating this that I'm not aware of please let me know below I'm just a few days into Nepal, so I'm still getting used to it. Um, hopefully, eating with my hands is a at least a good start. <laughs> hopefully, but again, a little bit of bark and dal. Mm. So nice. And I definitely rate not having to use the spoon and stuff. It just adds that like I don't know. I feel like it doesn't have that metal flavor and it just makes it feel a little more authentic it's definitely worth it as long as you have clean hands you can't go too wrong at first i was questioning eating with my hands but it's such a good such a good way to eat okay now we're gonna try some chicken it's kind of cooled down a bit so we'll get some off of the bone a little bit more of this one excuse the messy hands but that's just how it is Put it aside, get some onion on top, and then some more yogurt. Get it into our fingers, and a little bit more, please. Just a little bit. Thank you. 
Tell me back. That's okay. Thank you. Mm. So the cool thing as well is you keep getting offered rice and other things on the plate until you're full. So you pay the price, and I don't think it's ex I don't think it's extra, but you're still getting you keep getting food until you're full. So more rice and everything. And obviously you can see here uh, some potatoes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Uh, maybe just some more onions, please. Uh, onion? Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, bud. Timro Namkiho? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, bud. So, pretty awesome. For the price, you get like two meals almost. And it really fills you up and it is included in the cost. So that's good. Thank you, bud. All finished up now. I'm gonna head down the street to try find the shop that I was at earlier to have a look at a watch. Another thing, another thing for my camera, and then explore the other ones to try find a beanie and some other stuff. These shops here look quite good. Lots of stuff. Crossover. And I was at the shop that we we're going to earlier, and I was just kind of asking about the prices. So hopefully we'll go on and see if he can offer us a better price. We'll have to do some negotiating though because he seemed pretty firm on the prices he set. I think it's just up here. But let's see if we can bargain him down on the watch and the SD card for the camera. We'll try to get it for about 5000 but um, we'll see what he says. Hey, Master, how are you? So we have it just here. This one. Yeah, can I? Yeah, of course. Maybe try that on again, please. Try it on once more. <laughs> I like it. So what price is this, did you say? 3170. 31? 70. 3170. So it's pretty cool. I like these little Casio watches and there's actually a way you can tell if they're real or not. So that's why I came back. So, first off is the tiny U, just here. And then if I hold this, it should go to zero. This wasn't really feeling that watch. So we're gonna continue on and it wasn't changing price with the SD card. But here we have a nice shop. Hello, I come back, I come back. Got water bottles. I'll try the beanie on beanies again. That's a nice jacket. We got little North Face ones. Do you think I'll need this up the mountain? And like this one also. Also. Ah, okay. How much are your beanies? This one, three hundred. Three hundred. Do you have uh, gloves? Gloves. Yeah. Oh, okay, how much are the gloves? This one's 500 and like this I have limit fit, only 600. Okay. Price also high but just yeah. limit fit and... Okay, I'll have a look around and then come back. Okay. Thank you. Check out some more shops and see what prices there are. But I think I should have a beanie and stuff for this trek because it's starting to get cold up on the mountains so we have to prepare properly and to the second shop 300 1000 rupees 1000 rupees some negotiations going on behind us no beanies that I can see yet oh we have a shoe cleaner down here namaste Ooh. hello namaste do you have uh, beanies? Beanies and Beanies. gloves. I have gloves. Gloves. What kind of gloves are you looking for? Uh, some warm ones. Some warm. I'll, I'll have warm ones. Yeah. How much are your gloves? Oh, it depends. What kind of you want? I have even mittens also. Oh, mittens. Yeah. They're nice mittens. 
We want this kind of club for okay. 400 rupees. Okay. It's mitten a thousand rupees. Mitten a thousand. Oh, they're very nice. They are nice, really. Do you have like a 200 club? 200? No, I don't have clubs. How much are these? 800. This is Windy Stopper. Windy Stopper. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'll continue searching around. Okay, go on, sir. But I know these are here, don't you, bud? Still a little high in price. But we'll have a search back at the shops we've passed on the way here. I must be. Look at these postcards. Makara. What is your favourite one? 100? What's the favorite? What's your best one? Magnets? So nice. Oh, look at these ones. Some nice North Face. Full woolly hats. What one should we get for our trek? These? Okay. These are waterproof, windproof ones. Okay. One and like these. These are the thicker ones. What's your like cheapest ones? Cheapest ones are like these ones. Okay. These are how about much? 300. 300. And how much is the hat? 250. 250. Yeah. So 550. Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you do uh, two for 400? No, uh, let's do 500. Mm. We oh, don't do I've, told, I've on seen like, one down there. Yeah. We don't do margins on like small things, so that's okay. Next place. All right. No, I could probably do 400. Um, I might try the hat on. Can I try yeah, the sure. gloves and hat on? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, these are pretty good. This is what I need. So we'll try to get it for 400. And the hat. This you take it in. A bit tight. Yeah, got a beanie. A fluffy fluffy beanie and some gloves he's quite busy so we'll see if we can offer him 400 <laughs> and if he will take it is 400 okay brother just because gloves are very cheap these yeah. are all new ones so that's why yeah this I is know. 450 local because price these... would be cheap though it'll be 400 for this uh, we are avt avt also known as Annapurna Variety Traders. There you have it. Recently going I like your watch as well, well, boss. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks so much. Here you go for your items. There we go. If you need anything, please. Amazing. What's tomorrow name, Keho? You? Aman Sapko. Aman Sapko. Okay. Nice to meet you, Mr. Will. Thank you. Thank you. There we have it. Pretty good deal. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, 200 for both. So, yeah, pretty decent price. So, Pretty happy. I'm quite keen for a head massage or something. I don't need a haircut yet. We'll get that when I come back from the trek. But I'm quite keen for a head massage. So we'll see what price we can get a nice head massage here for here in Pokhara. Namaste. How are you? What have we got? Oh. Head massage? Yes. What is, is it just, uh, how long is it massage? Okay. Uh, how much? Uh, how much boss? I'm just looking at the options. Oh, we have a black mask. How much is... Uh, Only end was at 300. 300, yeah. okay. And what is the black mask? A black mask. Kit. Uh, facial kit? A facial kit. 1200? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Whoa. You do head massage and that 500? Mm. It's a long time here. Yeah. Uh, will you do 800? 800 for both? Okay. Is that okay? Okay. So head massage and face mask. <laughs> Should be quite nice. What do you want me to hear, boss? Tomorrow, yes. name Keho? No, 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 for deep. For deep? Yeah. Good. Alright, we found a nice spot. Okay, then you buy. Is this your shop? Yeah. Your shop? It's very nice. Good location. Right down beside the lake. So he's putting the headrest in. Hello! Ask me, sir. 
Namaste. Ja, namaste, så är vi där. Smutt. Ja, och så sitter jag. Och vi blir förra. Lite mot. Ja, för att du blir. Ja, det ska bli gott. Tack, bro. Yeah, out of the way. So we've got a good hairstyle going on. But I think first up is like a face massage. Wow, so nice. Is this a cream you're putting on, boss? Cream. Face massage. Nice. Face massage cream. Yeah. You one people a group? Ah, just me. Yeah. It's all over. I see friends later. How many people work here? Is it just you two? Two person work. Two person work here. Okay. Do you name Kehol? Ellen Gupta. Anil. Gupta. Anil. Nice to meet you. And you? Will. 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 From New Zealand. String for cleaning the pores. What? What the? You see, it must be like cleaning the skin or something. Whoa! <laughs> what? You gotta do this sort of stuff when you're traveling over here. I'm going to go the skin is feeling nice and clean after that. As you can see, some locals in here getting a head massage behind me. I borrowed all the years of the guy, not that even. I don't know why it's very good. It's amazing. Good. So good. Back to cleaning it off. It's almost like a peach cream. Cleaned up again. And must be getting ready for the face mask. That's like a poor mask or something. Goes mm. drawers, tissues. What do we have here? What's this, boss? I'm new at it. I'm not here. Size can it? I'm not here. Not too far away. So now we're getting the heat massage while face mask dries and then you'll peel it off this is so good <laughs> Try not to fall asleep. It's so good. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh yeah. It's like pressing his thumbs down. I can't even really talk because oh. the face mask. Okay, I'm gonna do some it's going hard. Yeah. It's like full. Pretty intense. Head massage and I can't even talk because my face is getting hard from the mask. Oh, you're getting a head massage. How long have you been doing this for? 20 years? 10 years? Me? Yeah. 35 years. 35 years. My uh, job, 20 well, years. You're so good. And back on the head rest goes. No. Nope. There it is. And I think it might be time. We take the mask off now. What, what are we doing now? Oh, wow. It feels so funny. <laughs> Definitely done it before. <laughs> so rehydrating the face after peeling all the stuff off. Killing, yeah? <laughs> that was amazing, bro. Thank you. Done you vote. Okay. Have you had a busy day today? No, no. Not busy? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, 800 for our good man here. Okay, I'll give you this. Okay. Done you, bud. So, if you're in Pokhara, come and see Elegant. But thank you, boss. We'll see you soon. Done you, bud. Alright, guys. I'm going to go check out what KFC is like. See if it lives up to the hype here in Nepal. Here we have it. A three story high KFC. Let's go see what it's like. Oh, you know. oh, we have some deals hanging from the ceiling. We've got Zinger meals, special snacks, box meals, rice meals. Look at those. Maybe not get a box. Maybe we get the classic Zinger burger. It's in the box meal. Good deals. We got $1,500 for that meal. Holy. I think we're just going to get a Zinger box meal though. Namaste. Uh, can I please have the classic Zinger box? And a single chicken roll. Single chicken roll? Please. And Pepsi. So dining or takeaway? Uh, dining. Dining. Thank you. Do you need any dipping sauce? Uh, yeah, just some like ketchup or aioli or something. And mine is thousand island sauce? Yeah. So you always one single box, one single chicken roll and dipping sauce, okay? Thank you. It's 1,123. Cool. So it's only like 12, $10 US. All right, here we go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We have a drink with like this weird plastic cover. It's good, it's not plastic. We have some extra dipping sauces, the burger, all the roll, extra chicken, chips, and sang. Oh yeah. Look at that. Not too crazy, but that's all right. I think first off we'll do the drink test. We have a non-plastic straw. It's a Pepsi. Not bad, not bad. And then let's try the chips. Get some spicy sauce out. Here we go. Pretty crispy. That sauce is so good. Marvel KFC style comics on the wrapper. What the hell? Let's try the burger. Let's see here we have it. The chicken's pretty fresh. It's actually real good. We that chicken roll. We eat that after this. Do the secret secret trick. Pull out two bones. Oh, that broke. Oh, that is hot. The tab that we rip off. Oh, look at that. It's like a Christmas cracker. <laughs> you can hold it in here. Oh, we have red onion, nice sauce. Oh wow. K 
KFC Nepal. Not bad. Alright, we'll put some chicken into the dipping sauce and see what it's like. Look at that. Mmm. Wow. This is so good. Got a chance. So probably give that about a probably give that about a seven and a half out of ten. Not the best, but it was pretty good. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed roaming around, checking out Pokhara with me. If you did, be sure to subscribe, check out another video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.